Hey, what's up, friends? Uh, I just got a question, or I saw a question on Twitter from Val. Thanks so much for asking that. Um, about just setting up a simple index.php page with a button that will redirect to Stripe checkout. So I want to just like quickly go through um, how I would build this. So I've got a little uh, a little page here, and I wanted to just like show how I would implement this. So I'm going to make an index.php file. Actually, let's do composer install composer require Stripe Stripe PHP. So this will use Composer to install the PHP library. You don't necessarily need to use Composer. You can install Stripe PHP by like just downloading it and putting it in a vendor directory and loading it. There's um, there are instructions on the Stripe PHP uh, GitHub repository uh, here. So if you wanted to check out other options for installation. Um, you could do that. So uh, assuming that you've got Composer, you're able to use Composer. Uh, the next step is to you to copy this like require once thing. Um, I know my Composer is outdated. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to use require once to pull in that repository. Also, I'm like, I'm experimenting with my lighting here, and I don't think I've got it perfect, but that's OK. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got this installed. I'm going to open up a brand new index.php file. We've got our, uh, our um, this will load the Stripe PHP client library. And then over here in our Stripe dashboard, you can find your API keys uh, and set those. But I want to walk through um, this demo really quickly. So in the demo, um, for checkout, we're using this. Uh, we're using PHP Slim, and I realize that's not necessarily always going to be the case for everyone who's building a page like this. And so I think uh, I can do like PHP to end it like that. How to <laughs> close PHP tag? I, I don't actually know PHP, but we're gonna figure this out. Um, so. PHP end tag. Ah, OK. So uh, <laughs> something like that. OK, so the, the first thing that we need to do, though, is um, we need to install Stripe JS, which we have Stripe JS. We've installed Stripe PHP. Uh, we also need to install or like set our API key, which you can do with this one liner here. Ah, I just want, to, I just want one line. <laughs> um, OK. So that sets our API key. That is my 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 secret key. Uh, and then the next thing that we need to do is create a checkout session. So we're going to do that here. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can create a checkout session. We have some episodes um, on the Stripe Developers YouTube channel about creating checkout sessions. You can you can use checkout for a whole bunch of different things. Um, so I'm going to kind of move quickly, but there's tons of options that you can pass here to configure the checkout session, which is going to configure what um, what the customer intends to purchase. But the trick is that we're setting our API key, and then this is making an API call to Stripe to create a checkout session. And that's going to be returned in this session variable. And then we want to use the ID of that checkout session to redirect a checkout. So here, after we've added a checkout button below, I'm going to add a script tag. And this is where we're going to write a little bit of JavaScript. Um, there's a couple of things we need to do. One is to create um, an instance of Stripe. This is like uh, the client side version of Stripe, right? Or the client side version of an object for working with Stripe. And then the next thing we need to do is redirect to Stripe. So we're going to call like stripe.redirect to checkout. And we're going to pass in uh, a JavaScript object that just has one property called session. ID like that. And the value is going to be the ID of the checkout session above. And I think <laughs> this is really uh, going to test my um, my PHP <laughs> session ID. I think something like that might work. Uh, question mark. And uh, let's, we'll see. Um, and then we don't want to do this immediately on page load, or that will just like redirect to checkout immediately as soon as the index.php loads. So instead, we have this button here that says checkout. So we want to listen to uh, click. So 
document uh, get element um, or let's see yeah get element by id and we'll pass in checkout button um uh yeah so this is going to be the button uh btn.add event center click so when the button is clicked we will um that's going to be pass an event We'll say e.prevent default, and then we want to redirect the checkout. So like it when the button is clicked, we'll redirect the checkout. So I think this is all we need. So we can say php-s localhost 4242, so, uh, uh, let's see, second s start uh, local, localhost 4242, require months, OK. Fail to open thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's see. Composer, composer init. Uh, composer in uh, require Stripe, Stripe PHP. I don't know why this didn't work the first time. I know it keeps telling me I need to upgrade, but um, we should be able to do this. So, um, okay. Let's try this again and refresh our page. And now we have just a button on the page. And when we click this button, we should be re redirected to Stripe checkout, and we are. So then you're able to enter um, your email address, jenny.rosen at example.com, uh, a test card like 4242-4242, test zip code and all a lot like everything that's on this page is con well not everything but you configure what people see on this page by editing the arguments to that checkout session create event so i click pay and that should work and then we're redirected to example.com slash success because that's what we said we would do here so the success url is where you're redirected back to um, when you've made a successful payment, cancel is where you're redirected back to if you've um, if you failed a payment. So you like you could extend this further just because it's like index.php. Um, you could extend it further to like do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so like this 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 is, could be like um, localhost four two four two slash index.php question mark success or like whatever. Like you can. You can have this come back to wherever you want uh, when they pay successfully. Cancel happens when they like hit the logo. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it super short and sweet and leave it there. I will create a gist with this code, um, and I'll put it up on GitHub and drop a link in the description just so that we have something to refer to. So I'm going to keep it super short and sweet. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.